noisy day in St. Petersburg. Why am I standing right here? To show you, I think, the best kebab in the world, at least in Russia. In Russia, we call it shawarma, but in St. Petersburg, you should say shaverba. And this one right here is the best shaverma in the city. So, Nevsky, Litenaya, red sign shaverma. And downstairs, it looks like this. Quite beautiful and interesting, and there is bonka eating. Yeah, this is St. Petersburg and uh, embankment of Fontanka River. Over there, there is a circus and a lot of interesting builders, buildings. The Russian people count it as a north capital or the cultural capital. It was capital indeed, and it's, uh, not, but it's not anymore. The capital is, you know, Moscow. But St. Pete deserved to be a capital of some great country. Today, we decided just to take a walk. This one right here is Mikhailovsky Castle. And inside of this uh, castle, uh, there is a Russian museum. Uh, one of the biggest and most interesting museums if you are in looking in search of something about Russian culture. And right at the Mikhailovsky Castle, as we were walking on this direction to this bridge, there is a little sign that says Jujuk Pijik, it been born on 19 November of 1994. Yeah. And this is a stage of a small bird down there. Your target is to throw a coin and it's supposed to lay over there, nearby the Jujuk Pijik, nearby the bird, and did not fall to the water. If you will succeed, you can ask for a wish and it will come true. And there you can see how the captain makes uh, dangerous maneuvers trying to avoid the collision. They are professionals. Spasnakravia Cathedral. Uh, this cathedral was built uh, in the memory of um, Alexander II, the Tsar the King, who was assassinated right at this place. So he was wounded at this place. Uh, this cathedral was built in the memory of the, of the great Tsar. So if you watch very close, you can see over there that the Christ eyes is open. And uh, that's the rare thing. The master represented him as he was still alive. Also interesting details are that there is eagles. They got to be, you know, uh, two-headed, but those are three-headed, so three wings, three head. And also interesting thing is all those small pictures are the symbols of a city. This one right here is for, for Moscow. Uh, there is 144 symbols of the cities. Uh, and this is the cities who gave some money to build this cathedral. So after the uh, Spasson on, on Kravi, we just take a walk on a, on a riverside and came to uh, Kazansky Cathedral. So as you can see all the directions, you can see from one place to another and keep on moving. When you get to one destination, you can clearly see the next one. So you just keep on walking, follow your eyes and uh, no map you need, you know, to be honest. And this one also a famous one. Um, it's the office of Pavel Durov, <laughs> the Russian IT. I don't know if he's a genius or not. Anyway, he stole a Facebook and made it a copy in a Russian way. He called it in contact and then he created a telegram a message system which one is good and unique so that's why i cannot say uh, that the pavel is uh, still but his office was in right in there right in that dome if you are thinking of how to move on st petersburg there is many options in warm period it's uh, those kind of scooters bicycles uh, motorcycle tours river tours bus tours every type of tours so this one is isakievsky cathedral I think the main building in St. Petersburg may be on the same level as Hermitage. This place is just a must visit. I'll make it a little zoom. And you can see gold details inside. It's amazing. It's really amazing. 
but what's inside it's it's for you to find out so I'll just let give you a tip do it do it our first uh, St. Petersburg trip is about to get to an end uh, again uh, we came here by the train from Moscow it takes eight hours uh, it started 9 or 10 p.m. and came here at 6 a.m. there is about 30 different uh, trains every uh, sorry half an hour you can uh, find a train available to go from St. Petersburg to Moscow and backwards uh, it costs from I think 10 maybe 15 dollars And this is also one of the most recognizable buildings in St. Petersburg, Admiral Teistva. To anyone who will guess what it is and give us a comment in English, we'll give a little prize. I will give him a souvenir as soon as this person will go to Russia and I will give you a little tour for free, of course. And if you have some kind of questions, don't forget to ask. We'll be happy to answer. If you're going to St. Pete, the most important thing to take with you is your passport, money and rain cover. Today is no rain, so we are lucky, because uh, in uh, autumn time, a lot of rains. So this is for the Peter the first, uh, Yekaterina the second. Not many sculptures when the horses is on the, on the, on the back feet. But uh, be careful, if you take a closer look, there is a snake under the horse's feet and uh, the horse tail is also connected so technically there is three spots on where the this monument is holding so yeah, that's important detail well and if you want to know something about this place you better take a Russian history book my friends because this is I think the historical political center uh, this is the winter palace also known as Hermitage and it's i think the biggest gallery in russia maybe not the biggest but it most interesting and most important it's on the same level maybe with the tretyakovska in moscow oh. yeah, they're asking to make a photo but don't forget you they ask some payment so i don't really like this because they are very friendly when they come up to you and after everything happened between you they say, and now payment time. Look, payment for? I thought we are friends. And there was the Atlantis. The guy who was holding the Atlantide after it got sink, they find a new job, and they now work in here in Saint Peter as a roof holders. There is a creepy, creepy guys. The interesting thing about Saint Petersburg, if you just even now, I'll, I'll stop. And you'll notice any building at the site, any any building, it will be historical. There will be some something important and interesting happened in this building. Somebody lived in this place. Nothing in St. Petersburg center is just because it is. It, everything is connected to some historical, cultural, political. If you go in St. Petersburg through Moscow, which is I think quite good idea. I think it'll be cheaper. So you fly to Moscow, spend some time in there, and then you go to St. Petersburg by the train. Honestly, it's much more faster and safer and easier because from a city center, I'm in Moscow, again coming to city center in St. Petersburg. And uh, I will put some like seconds right now. Uh, when you just walk off of the train, you can get to this place, to this area by walking in 20 minutes. So you're just walking out straight on Nevsky, then you just go straight and you will came up uh, end up in this place. And that is uh, quite comfortable, so after Moscow. And as you can see, everything in St. Petersburg is very close. It's very comfortable. The city is interesting because uh, Peter uh, the first who came up with an idea to establish such a city uh, it was inspired by Europeans experience European experience so uh, the architect and uh, this 
city spirit, you know, is more European than any other city in Russia. Even more Euro European than Moscow. Because Moscow is more about money. This city is more about the soul. <laughs>